Today we have the story of Harriet Jacobs, a runaway slave from North Carolina, whose book Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl was published in 1861, just at the start of the Civil War, and even as she was still on the run. The reason we know so much about Harriet Jacobs is because Harriet Jacobs was literate. She learned to read at a young age. She even said that she didn't know she was a slave uh, at the beginning of her life uh, as a small girl uh, because her childhood was so happy. But at age nine, her master died and bequeathed her to a relative whose husband was the cruel and sadistic Dr. James Narkom. As Harriet became of age, Dr. Narkom subjected her to relentless sexual harassment uh, and very cruel uh, uh, and relentless treatment. Uh, in order to keep him away, Harriet actually had a relationship with a white man in the town named Samuel Sawyer, who went on to become a congressman. But Harriet thought that having a relationship and having children with this man, Mr. Sawyer, would keep Dr. Norcom off of her. He would, that he would shield her from Dr. Norcom. It didn't work out that way. Dr. Norcom uh, reacted to the affair by banishing Harriet to the fields to be broken uh, as a field hand. And Harriet was also heartbroken to learn that her two children, also the property of Mr. Norcom, were to be treated in the same manner. They were to be sent to the fields for a lifetime of hard labor uh, to be broken in body and spirit. So Harriet, in 1835, uh, hatched a daring plot. She pretended to escape, even though she stayed on the plantation the whole time. She stayed in her grandmother's attic on Dr. Norcom's plantation, where she occupied a tiny crawl space about the size of a coffin. For seven years, from 1835 to 1842, Harriet Jacobs was a prisoner in this tomb, unable to stand or even sit correctly. Her muscles became atrophied. Her only pleasure was seeing through a crack in the attic uh, walls seeing outside and to where her children were playing. She could see her children playing. She was able to arrange through Samuel Sawyer a fake buyer where Mr. Sawyer would buy the children. Um, the children were brought north to New York. Harriet actually was sending Dr. Norcom taunting letters uh, uh, from her escape which were smuggled out of her tomb and mailed back to Norcom from New York City. So Dr. Norcom thought that Harriet was in New York because the letters were postmarked from there. He sent bounty hunters aggressively north looking for her. Eventually, Harriet Jacobs was united, reunited with her children, Benny and uh, Ellen. Uh, she lived for a time as a maid uh, and a nurse in Brooklyn while still on the hunt. In 1862, uh, Abraham Lincoln even referred to Harriet Jacobs in his State of the Union address. He felt Harriet Jacobs' life explicated the causes that the war was being fought for. So Harriet Jacobs is a stunning story of, of the slave experience. She was entombed for seven years, but that didn't break her spirit. She was reunited to see her children again. She was, she always said, that she did not tell this story for her, she told the story for all the other slaves.